That was eerily speedy. And there's this little material ball. This place looks cool in this uh, observatory. It's very cozy. Those books and very packed rooms, I find it very cozy. Planet's mercy. Oh Lord, I have mercy. The lights we observe here have traveled to us from the far reaches of time and space. Oh, oh, oh. You won't find a larger telescope than the sex dungeon, probably. With it, you can see to the edge of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. <laughs> but the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies. Sure thing, Bugenhagen. Uh, wait, there's nothing else to... Okay. Decent view from up here. The bloom kind of rough in some areas, but... We observe here. We must have missed something downstairs then. us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them with our own eyes. Two in the Corel and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> a fascinating account. Were it true. Or why would we lie, old However, bitch? such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. <laughs> Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? <laughs> oh, oh, yes. That would do them some good. Oh, God, is he senile? <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. Sure thing, old man. Thanks for calling Tifa crazy as well. Uh, so how about that sex dungeon? I present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado... Sus? Definitely a little sus. That comment was weird. The uh, like, not believing Tifa about the lead uh, weapons. Just rendered a third FPS. Wow. <laughs> this is only the beginning. A shooting star. Planetology. It's not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. Behold, the planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, but it's not that mankind was born. Like all living things, 
man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt may, though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. Should have given David Attenborough to voice this guy. True, actually. And if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted, then everything would be okay. Wait a minute. There's no gravity in space. How does it fall down? Can it just expand outwards in all directions? It's bogus. Planet went bald? Of course. These are but basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry. That energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? Why is he wearing little sunglasses if he's blind, Chet? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. <laughs> hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. He fucking in keeps insulting her. Was you stupid? You rang. Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Getting okay. like culty vibes out of this place. Hey. Can I come? It's not bright indoors, Rainfall. Yeah, I'm getting yeah, there's mad mad culty around here. The seminar as well. Got a question. The planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies, right? <sighs> yes. Is there any way to avoid this? Like making the spiritual energy stronger? Why are you asking me such things? Jesus. <sighs> I'm sorry. I've come to realize that I'm somewhat stuck in the past. Fuck. We've entered an era in which humanity exerts unprecedented influence over its environs. And as both the planet and society evolve, so too must science. And yet it seems that I cannot. Perhaps I'm much too old of a dog to learn any new tricks. Was my explanation of planetology not to your liking? Perhaps a seminar would provide a more agreeable experience. Was my explanation of planetology not okay. your liking? Perhaps a seminar would... Yeah, vibes off in this place. I don't know. Not super cozy in general, but... Something, something ain't right here.
Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let say you that. take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. I'd say that spirits like took over this place, right? That was one of the legends we read. Oh, I moved. Nor any creature, big or small, with whom we share our home. It is that which comes from beyond. the dark cellar. Five Moogle medals. If we've any five can count, I guess. It is not our fellow man. Present a purple chest. Yet, at least, I guess. Comes from beyond the confines of this world. That which disrupts the natural order. The other which may attempt to claim and consume the planet. Cosmetite, so nice. To her children to join hands and come together. Big ass storm, dude. Please down to the other one. Okay. Ah, there's the purple. Yeah, I was gonna be surprised if there's no purple. Weapon for whom? For cat shit. There's like three weapons behind training. Uh, no, that's where we would have come in. Cool. Second favorite kind of chest in the game. What's the first, Brent? Don't leave us hanging. Scarless chest. It's lame. Did you know none of the materia here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. True. Ever keeping calamity at bay. If people Very true. Everywhere resolved to not said it like it is. Tell me. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means. Please Why is his name Bugenhagen? Follow me if you would. Which would you say? That was like a swamp. <clears throat> swamp monster. They are both one in the same. Wouldn't you agree? I ask you this. Who among you has looked inward? Did you forget about Scarlet? Oh. A seminar is in progress. Please be respectful. I've, uh always been on the bigger side. Please continue on into the assembly. Painting and poetry are more my thing. My old man, he... Oh he god, it's like a fucking it a hippie waste, circle. Me spending all my time indoors. According to him... Seems like, like a sex addict meeting. I'm Tifa, and I'm addicted to... What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Oh my god, it is. Please. Me? Okay. I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place but there was also conflict a war between the planet and its enemies and i can't i mean we can't let them win we need the planet and it needs us we have to rise up fight back 
defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <laughs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. Man, I this just, is a sex seminar. You know. What's up, Jenkov? Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. <laughs> what matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us. Not a so let What's us head to the torch. I'll see you at the festival. It's really all weird now. Tea under a blanket? You drinking a tea under a blanket? Your dog got real nice. So look at them gathered around the fire. Oh god, her voice. Just like us. I hate it, day. dude. Go back to the cool Me voice. And mom and dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. Maybe that bullshit wasn't, wasn't listening. Don't give me that bullshit. You start a story, you finish it. Cloud, if I may, allow me to add a new word to your lexicon. Decorum, meaning polite behavior, often used in the negative, like so. You sometimes exhibit a severe lack of decorum. Uh, I don't think we helped. I don't think you liked our conversation. Should have said it. I'll lend an ear. I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. All right, gee, Barrett's, Barrett's not crazy either. See. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? No, we fight, or nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. Just gotta give the generic answers they want to hear. Okay, we can't mess Tief up, Jeff. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? You did good. Can't help it if they suck at listening. I got what you were saying. I kind of wanted everyone to get it, though. To hell with everyone. <laughs> Great advice. Thanks. Nailed it. What well, we talk to? Put your faith you in our sweet mother. She would never forsake us, never abandon us. For we are her children, one and all. When you die, you return to the planet. That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. 
Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, I totally agree. What? Ugh, should have known better than to get philosophical with you. All right. As such, the life with which she is blessed of uh, man, I can't wait to see what they've got planned. Where's cat shit? Spirit. Right. So you, you just can't build a relationship with cat. On the beach of the universe. Fatalist idiots. Spend my whole life trying to prove them wrong. But sitting here looking up at the sky, you kinda help you in pretty minuscule. If we've any existentialism, fear, it is not our fellow man. One, two, three, four, five, creature big six, or small five. with whom we share. Man, I can't wait to see what they've got planned. Of course, Air is at the head of the fucking hippie committee. The cat hates you as a cat. Turn. As in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients, or to be more precise, the only ancient. What about Sephiroth? For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will. I've been watched. I've been ignored. Even hated. And it's been that way. Ever since I was little, my blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Probably will, let's be honest, Shanko. Time after time, I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never going to be normal. That much was clear. Stop her. It's okay. <laughs> so my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. And catch it. Happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. Mad brother thing, isn't like 82. I'll come back with me. Even if I can't lead a normal life, mm. there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. like lantern ceremonies they're so cool
live stream. The Mako is turning them green. There, it is time. The orange Whoa. is apart. Pretty sappy, huh? Yeah. So, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Join me, would you? What did you all think of the River of Light? For whatever reason, I was gonna say, there's always like has a number of tourists Chadley's here. When I ask for their impressions, they often I speak of how beautiful it was. Some claim sound. they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. I'm still getting, like, weird vibes from this place. Is no small feat. Like, I expect, like, something bad or weird to, to happen. That the river it's been of too Lights calm. Possesses such power. Alas, my hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual sure, curiosity. Sure they have yet to be fulfilled. People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all about Got Brodo, them. brother, thank you for the 50 the months, dude. The baby, Welcome back. The blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation. Yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. <laughs> Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. Keeping them to myself. Is almost the first time. Oh, oh, maybe Gar was the first time. Where are we going, Grandpa? Oh dear. Is it Tuesday reset already? Let's see what's in the vault. Well then, shall we proceed? Uh, but I thought this door was sealed so that none may enter. Why, yes, and by my own hand, no less. However, yeah, it's a little annoying. You have a trial to undertake. I do? It's okay if they do, but it's if like... If you wish to prove you yourself it. and become a watcher of the veil, that is, I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. And off we go. <laughs> My love. <laughs> now we follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. <laughs> 